Welcome to the channel, beauties. I have got you some spoilers for December 2024, the P. Louise budget box. So uh, they did just drop them yesterday. We'll go through them. They're very quick. I don't know if I'm going to have a lot to share with you, but what I do have to share with you is looking so good yet again. This box does not disappoint. So anyway, if you want to see everything that's going to be inside for December, then stick around and we'll dive right on it. December is looking very similar to October. So I shared with you guys my unboxing just recently because keep in mind that with P. Louise, we usually get our boxes a month behind um, the actual month. So we start seeing spoilers, but we won't get it for another like month, month and a half. And um, I should have November on the way. November looked amazing also. But now December is just really reminding me of October. I feel like you're getting less than you did in October though, because I feel like there was some extra lanyards and things like that that are kind of missing in this one. Um, so if I see any more, maybe it was just a quick run through of the big items. If I see any more added, I'll try to update you guys. Be looking in my either community tab where I post things or for the comments. Sometimes I'll pin a comment to the top of the feed so you can see if I've had to update on the video or something. So, but there's like three main things that are going to be in the December box. So we will go through them. Once again, we've talked about the color stories and how they're not like always right on theme for the actual month that we're sharing. But several of you guys pointed out, and you're right about this, is that by the time we receive that box, it will be appropriate. So there's just, there's a lot of like brown tones in this one. I feel like this is one that probably should have been, honestly, I feel like this should have been our November box or like whatever we got in November or October because there's a lot of like warm tone browns. I feel like it's great for fall. That's, that's what I'm feeling from the color stories on all of this. This is going to be your warm toned lovers, this box this time. So just warning you, if you're a cool tone lover, you're probably not gonna be real happy with this month. Sorry. All right. So we're kicking it off with another storybook palette. I love these storybook palettes. Okay. So if you're not familiar with what it is, if you're new to P. Louise, if you haven't seen this before, I'm going to show you what a storybook palette from them looks like really quickly. So here is the one we got in October. There were two different ones you could get, either a really colorful one or this one, which was more the silver lining. Now this one was your cool tone lovers palette. So yeah, I guess they're spreading the love. They're going to, they gave out to the cool tone folks this month and then they'll give out to the warm folks in December. But anyway, so the idea with this is it's like a little book that opens up and each page is another palette. So you have one palette. Sorry, I got it all messy when I was playing with it. And then the next page is another color story palette. And then the next page is another color story palette. So super cute. Absolutely love this concept. It's also supposed to light up guys, but I never did figure out how to get the batteries in there. So it has this little spot right here where if you put batteries in there, it has a little, it, the storybook lights up. So, so neat, just precious. Absolutely love these. So we're going to be getting another one of these, but just a different name and color story. And so this one is going to be called Expensive Taste. It is, like I said, fairly warm toned. So on this one, your first um, palette in there on the first page is going to be your lighter colors. So it's going to be like light neutrals and some yellows too. Um, and then the second page, you're going to have a little bit of medium. These are going warmer browns and whatnot. And then your third page is going to be the deepest of all. These are very dark browns and just dark across the whole page. But as you're seeing, it's like a browns and yellows palette here. Not a lot of other um, color ranges. So I am very excited when we get more storybook palettes. I love these things. I love the concept. I'll be honest though, I only need one. Like this one did it all for me because... The color stories in this were just amazing. I'm not as excited about browns and neutrals and yellows. I mean, I wear those all the time, but I have so many of them. 
this was just so unique. I didn't have a lot of color stories like these, you know. Also, these are very bulky. So it is really hard to figure out where to store it. Yeah, so um, I barely made room for this one in my makeup drawer. So I don't know where the next one's going to go, to be honest with you. But it's such a cool idea, though. I love these little storybook palettes. And if you don't own one yet, it'll be great for you to own one. But I don't necessarily need multiple of them. <laughs> Maybe I just need to get a bookshelf and I can pretend that I'm... <laughs> like doing something smart and just studying books and they're my secret collection of palettes. <laughs> but anyway, so that is the first item that we're going to be getting. The second one, I'm so excited about this. I'm all about this one. This is a body glitter. How fun is that? So this is Bold Glow. It's going to be called Say It With Chest and the color story is Golden Era. So once again, we're going very warm tone. I think the gold is going to be matching a lot of the colors in our storybook palette. And what I love about it, though, is it's like a loose glitter. So a loose like powder glitter, but it glows in the dark. So if you turn off the lights, you're at a party, you go to the skating rink and it's like neon day or something, you're going to glow with soft glitter all over you. So fantastic. So now I do think that that one is appropriate for December and like the holidays. I would love to have this for the holidays, but this will be coming after the holidays for me. So it's for me, like I still, I'm not feeling this being that seasonally appropriate. I'm just still not feeling this being that seasonally appropriate, honestly. Okay. And then the last item is going to be three different eyeliners. So this is from their line called once Upon a Line. I love the names of everything. They're so clever. And it's just going to be a set of three different eyeliners. You're going to have one in the shade black. One looks very like dark brown. And then another one's brown too, but it's a little just warmer, like tanner brown there. Um, so not that much in there, but what is in there is pretty cool. Um, like I love this mix. I think it's just the color story that's I don't know, but the neutrals in there will probably work great for a lot of folks. I mean, even some of the browns you can, I think, I mean, I think you can make some pretty cool looks with it. I'm going to give my review and thoughts on the P. Louise um, eyeshadows since I've tried several of theirs now. I feel like they're really beautiful. They go on well, like they blend well. They have amazing pigment pigment, amazing color stories. But what I'm finding for me is that they're almost a little too buttery and they don't last on my eyes. They all like fade over the day and they shift. Um, and I use, I mean, I've tried using both primer and my regular like concealer with a setting powder. Like, you know, I still prime my eyes the same way I do every other palette. And I just, I do find that it is they're like almost a little oily or something on me. And so I only get a couple hours wear out of them before they're, I have to like retouch everything up. So I don't know if that's the case for all of you guys. I just figured I would mention it since this year um, has been my first P. Louise really. I mean, I've, I've always done their P. Louise base, but like their eye primer, but um, not really a whole lot of other stuff. And so that is what I'm noticing in their palettes and my take on it. So just curious if anybody else feels that way too about the formula. I figured I'd mention it now since this was such a short video, I could have the time to kind of put a little review in there and discuss it some because this will be my fourth box. Yeah, because I did the six month package for the budget boxes. And so I think December is going to be month four for me. So it's been enough now to kind of know what it's like and be able to give a good review of the products. So that's everything that I know so far, guys. Stay tuned. My November box, it'll probably come towards the end of the month. So be watching. I will bring you the unboxing as soon as it gets here. And I continue to be on the lookout for you guys for spoilers each month now. Now that I've been doing the P. Louise, I like to do the spoilers. I'm going to give you the same disclaimer I've been giving on a lot of my other Beauty Box spoilers videos, and that is that I will be in Costa Rica at the beginning of January around in the holidays. So I'm going to be late on next month's spoilers for you. So if P. Louise drops them January 1st, I probably won't have them to you until I'm back like the second week of January. So 
Just letting you know a lot of these spoilers videos or any boxes I get in are going to be waiting and that's usually one of my busiest <laughs> times to film but Costa Rica calls. So I will catch you guys when I'm back or before then I'll catch you on the unboxing. So pop that subscribe, turn the notification bell on and I will see you on that next one. Bye.